military is delaying a requirement that mandates all female Marines in combat do at least three pull-ups. That's because more than half the female recruits were unable to meet that fitness requirement. Chris Lawrence reports. Military training can be excruciating at its highest levels. Oh, gosh! But at the bare minimum, a Marine's got to be able to do three pull-ups. Why well, I want to ensure that every Marine is successful at maxing out their pull-ups on their PFTs. But more than half the female recruits couldn't do it. So the Marines are pushing back the day when it becomes mandatory. If you have a failure rate of 55%, and 99% of the men are succeeding, obviously this is not going to work. Men have to do three pull-ups minimum to pass the Marine's fitness test. It takes 20 to earn a perfect score. Women had to meet the same minimum, but only need eight pull-ups to score perfect. Because so few pass, the Marines will let them choose to hang for 15 seconds and pass without doing any pull-ups. Wide grip stance that works best for you. Marine Corps officials admit pull-ups are better, and the flexed arm hang elicits little muscular strength adaptations necessary for common military tasks, such as pulling oneself over obstacles or carrying equipment. Generally, I'm not in favor of lowering any standards. Zoe Bedell is a former Marine Corps officer who commanded troops in Afghanistan. Could you do three pull-ups? I was at one point able to do five pull-ups, but it was that first one that probably took me the longest to get to. Bedell says women have to learn how to do pull-ups, something many have never done. Sort of experiment with different techniques, um, you know, figure out what other exercises to do. Critics say the big push over pull-ups is part of a bigger problem. Pressure from the White House to make the military gender neutral. Something is wrong here, and it's not the women's fault. It, it's the, the policy that the Marines are pursuing. Still, some women are clearly ready. 13 female Marines have just passed the grueling 60-day infantry training course, but this postponement is a setback for the plan to move thousands of women into combat roles by 2016. The Marines could impose the three-pull-up standard next year, but there is no guarantee.